Welcome back, YouTube. Bumpy McSquiggums here, and this is my Let's Play of Ease Chronicles, Ease 1. And we are on Episode 7, if I am not mistaken. Lots of things happened in the last episode, and I apparently tried to connect my Kindle to use it as a stopwatch, because I believe I went a little long in the last episode. I like to try to keep them around a half hour. Um, yeah, so we started off, and apparently I did not save when we ended the last episode. I thought I did, but apparently not. And so it looked like it backtracked me a little bit. I was in Zepic Village. I'm pretty sure everything's fine. We are f absolutely 100% fine and right where we left off. But I'm not certain. So we will see. We will see if things and do, do indeed change. Um, so yeah, we're going to start here. I know we were going to head west, so we are going to do that right now. So in the last episode, we killed a second boss in two tries as opposed to like 240 like the first boss, which is always good when you improve like that. The boss was really easy. I still did it very poorly. Um, I could have killed it the first time, but I was greedy and wanted to switch rings, so I kind of messed around a little bit and then I got caught off guard and did get murdered really, really badly as the head of the long dragon snake-like thing just kind of munched away on me and slaughtered my soul. But, we did come back, we switched to our power ring, which is what we have right now, we do double the damage, and we went back in and slapped that snake around like he was nothing. Of course, I still made several small mistakes, and I actually came pretty close to dying, but again, it was an easy fight. Had I died, I would have been pretty embarrassed, because, again, it was an easy fight. Alright, so somewhere west of here, is this mine that we're looking for. And, ironically, I am not seeing... Oh, there's a tree. Now, the game crashed, actually, when I went to this tree last time with my Kindle attached to the computer. Uh, I actually run... I'm not sure if this game is that way, but... Some of the games that I have installed on my computer I have on an external drive, which is connected USB, uh, through the USB. So, when I connect another USB device, it conflicts occasionally. Uh, in fact, I cannot save things to my Kindle Fire through my USB drive. It does not work. I have to move things to my C drive in order to actually, like music for instance. In order to put music on my Kindle Fire, I have to move it onto the C drive and then move it onto the Kindle. It's quite frustrating. I don't really know what causes that. I'm sure it's some setting, some interrupt that I have wrong somewhere, somehow. It defaulted that way and I just don't care that much to change it. There's easy ways to work around it. The Kindle's almost dead, that's why I'm even having it plugged in at this time. But, it's fine. I will just randomly guess when a half hour is up, and we will continue from there. So let's see if this crashes my system again. It does not. I, I don't understand why they decide to show this cinematic of this giant tree, but they do. And that's okay, because they made the game, and I'm sure there is a massive amount of significance that I am just not getting. So, what we're going to do is, I think I went too far west. We're going to head north now a little bit. Aha, yes, here. We are at the mine. So we're going to kill this guy. We are going to save. Now, in one of the episodes, I did return to the mines. In fact, we're going to save on this too. Hopefully nothing happens in this recording or we're going to have some issues. But. I did go into the mine on one of the episodes not too long ago, and it was an awful, awful, horrible idea, but I had, like, next to no gear. Now I'm, like, pimping out on third and fourth level gear. I have power and shield rings. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a higher level. I have 180 health. I don't think this thing's going to be able to hurt me as bad as it did. In fact, I just one-shot it. Twice. This is very dark, though. I... I will admit this is slightly disconcerting. Maybe the crystal does something... No, the crystal still does nothing. Alright, so we're just gonna have to randomly find our way around. I, I I don't really see any other way of doing it. Thankfully, we are so strong now that we no longer get murdered by those giant pod-like creatures. And we can just continue on doing... Oh my gosh, what was that? I got a little bit terrified there. More due to the noise of him exploding than him actually being there, but also him being there was a little bit scary. 
because he was not this normal pod-like creature that I have come to know and love. He was some tall, skinny thing that, well, scared me, as you all heard. Haha! -ha! Treasure chest. Oh, I gotta leave it behind because I already have a healing potion. Well, now I feel foolish for having wasted 300 gold on restocking my healing potion. But that is quite alright. Look at that thing. It's like a weird, I don't know, squid looking? Ah, <sighs> strange. Well, if nothing else, we're getting... Hey, hey, we're back at the entrance. And apparently we do not heal in caves either. So, since we're back at the entrance, we might as well pop out and heal. And run right back inside. Alright. Oh, I missed. Alright. So, we went up and around last time. Now we're going to go... We go down and in, see if we can get deeper into this dungeon, and figure out what's down here, because I have no idea. This is a different chest, and we have silver armor! There we go, man. That tier 4 stuff just coming right out at us. I told you, I had a pretty, <laughs> pretty good feeling that as soon as we got this next tier of armor, really shortly after we would get an upgrade, and I was 100% right. So, thankfully, there's no, like, I don't know if you guys have played or seen Rogue Legacy, but Rogue Legacy, oftentimes there was better armor, but you would lose things, or you would gain things, and the armor would be worse, like you would gain vamp vampirism. But you would lose a lot of armor and health, so when you'd kill stuff, you'd be able to heal up off of doing that, but you'd have less health overall, so it was always a trade-off. This looks like it's just a flat improvement, so. I like that, I rather like that a lot, actually. See, games these days oftentimes overcomplicate things, and I do very much enjoy, like, older RPGs, because they, they were more simplistic, or they focused more on, I don't know, just, just the ideals and the gameplay back in the day. That's, that's, it's hard to say what I'm trying to say here. Um, the old RPGs didn't try to you know, be super innovative. They didn't try to have all these extra features and improve upon a system that worked. A lot of them were or were copies or carbon copies or clones, if you will, of other games of that that era or that genre at the time, you know? And they had a formula that worked and they went with it. Now that's interesting, a timer ring. Nowadays you have all sorts of weird different things, and I understand you can't keep going with the same exact thing over and over again, and nobody loves change, but sometimes, oh wow, slows enemy movement to half its normal speed, that can be useful too. But not right now. Right now we're digging our power ring. You know, th there's a point where something works, it works well, there's no reason to improve upon something that doesn't need improvement. Oh, wow. Wow. I think that worm hit me. Oh, my goodness. That took a tremendous amount of my health away. Oh, wow. That's the healing potion, which we're not going to use. I want to go to the right. I'm pretty sure there's more down here. Of what I've discovered. Oh, I leveled up too. That's really nice. Wow, I am ridiculously strong now, guys. I keep saying this every time I level up, but man, it just it impresses me every single time it happens. Alright, we are actually going to go outside the field because even though we leveled up and we are significantly stronger than we were, I still feel as though. Oh, right, heal up. I still feel as though we should, uh. Abuse the ability to heal while standing still. So, at this point, I would normally just go AFK and get a drink, but I, I don't feel that's uh, exactly useful to you guys, so we'll sit here and we'll watch the pretty clouds go by. I will actually take a sip of my drink right now. Ah, it is sweet, sweet, nice. Diet Mountain Dew, the nectar of the gods. It is my liquid ambrosia, as they say, and we healed up pretty quickly. Uh, we are going to, as you can tell, save on the correct save thing. Yes, we are there. 
And we are going to fight our way down into the depths yet again and see if we can get deeper this time and perhaps accomplish even more. We were pretty far down over here. When I got scared and ran away. And we did a little circling there. It was quite fun. Mm. Alright, so I could, could, could go down there, but I think... Nope, there is no, nothing deeper this way, huh? Well... I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm a little bit lost. I'm sure I can struggle and find my way f deeper and further down. Perhaps, just maybe, I need to have this out. Aha! See, that was a trick. I did indeed need that. And apparently we get to leave this cave. Oh, this looks menacing. I like it. That is a pretty cool effect. I do wish they, like, employed torches in this wonderful dungeon here. Because it would be nice to see more than a foot around me in any direction. So, it looks like once again we are at an impasse. So, I believe this will allow us to not impasse, but actually pass. Oh, or I could have just walked through it anyway. Oh my, I didn't actually want to go down without exploring further, but it doesn't look like there's much more to explore. So, moving... Oh boy, what in the world was that giant horrible creature? Well, whatever it was, it died. That power ring going to work. Man, that thing is fast moving. It does not hurt very much, though. Which is a, uh, a tribute to our amazing armor, our awesome leveling up ability, and our good shield. Now, is this the same place? No. This is going to be confusing, guys. Oh, wow. Something survived a single attack from me. Wow. We're getting into the hardcore places, guys, and it looks like I may be dying again in this episode after all. We shall see. We shall see. I also am a little disappointed that I did not explore that other place more. I really didn't expect to like leave the level that quickly. Huh. Oh! Oh, what in the world is that thing? It's a giant bug of some type. Well, things are just getting worse and worse for me here. Oh, oh, that thing's coming. Oh, oh, he hurts. Oh boy. Oh man. Alright, so... We are going to use this. We're going to get a potion. Oh! And would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Just as I use a healing potion, what do I find? Another healing potion. Alrighty. So, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually quite terrified about this area that I'm in. These giant bugs are scary, and those weird armored knight guys. Not exactly the funnest things I've run into. Oh, giant bug guy. Um, very hard to see what's coming. Oh, man. I am taking a pounding. I am definitely getting beat down more than a little bit here. I'm not sure I want to be progressing at the rate or the direction that I am, and I just have this feeling that I am running in circles a lot. Oh, man. Well, I found my way to the next horrible, horrible, awful boss fight, and I'm actually, at this point right now, so scared that I am going to save. And I know I've missed several things throughout here, and I'm hoping that nothing has been so critical as to be needed. We are going to use our healing potion. We are also slightly terrified, and we are going to switch to our timer ring. I do not know how this works. Oh, well, apparently I do not have the key to that door. Yeah.
yeah, we're gonna switch back to our other ring. Uh, well, guys, uh, I don't know. I may have dug deeper than I should have this early on. And I may be using that wing to get my butt out of here relatively soon. We are clearly not in a good place. In fact, we are. We are going to use our wing right now, and we are going to fly away home. That place was very scary. However, things could have been much worse. We did not die. Came pretty close. I would like another one of those wings. Yes, yes, that is exactly what I want. Thank you. Now I will leave. And... Please don't talk to me, young man. Alright, and we are going to continue on with our wonderful adventure here. But, before we do so... Hmm... I suppose we'll sit here and we'll heal up. Now, the top level of that dungeon didn't seem all that difficult whatsoever. So I may linger up there till I level again. I'm wondering if my max health here on the bottom and this is that bar, and if it is that bar... Am I nearly at the max level? Uh, if that's the case... I'm a little worried. I mean, I know my defense is going to continue to go up, but... There's more to this game than just defense. I mean, gaining that chunk of health every time you level is a pretty big deal, I mean... Well, we'll see how it goes. We will run our way up to the top over here. Perhaps we must go further north before we head west? I believe that may be the case. And right here should be the mine, and it is. So, that being the case, we will once again heal up. And we will go back in. Now, I'm pretty sure that we covered all of this. Oops. I do not believe there's any stone left unturned in this area. I mean, again, I could be completely, totally, and utterly wrong. But, I do believe that we actually managed to find everything. The healing potion from before, yes. We are only 10,202 away. We have 24,000 gold, which is a tremendously large amount. I almost want to run around with my mask on. To see if, indeed, any doors have opened for us, but same time, if we run around with our mask on, we can't see the enemies. And I believe it's pretty obvious where the mask is needed. But we'll see. Uh, as we are relatively powerful. In fact, we are more than relatively powerful. We are quite strong, in fact, that we don't necessarily need to see the enemies. Sure, it helps to see what's coming, but in reality, if we just manage to not get hit the first time and crack into them. Like that, we just got hit. We will not take any damage whatsoever. But, that will not always be the case. So, moving, 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 moving. Running into the empty chest that we already knew was there. And we knew that it was empty. We are going to continue this way. There is a hole. I would like to look around just a little bit more. I believe that's all there is to this level, um, sadly. So we're going to move down one more floor. And maybe explore before we go into that Phoenix area. Because we kind of got robbed out of doing that. And by robbed, I mean I didn't go back in like I should have. Alright, so what we're going to do now is remove this. 
We're not well, I guess we are gonna take those stairs. We're not gonna go that route though. We are going to look around very thoroughly in here. These things do hit quite a bit harder, but they also give us quite a bit more experience. And we found a Rota Tree Seed. So that should be very useful to us. I'm not entirely sure why or how or what we're going to do with it, but I do believe it will be useful. I also believe this is strange. Because this looks like we just somehow backtracked. But yet we did not, because these are harder enemies than were here before. So I'm slightly confused. I, I, don't, I don't know how else to say it. Ah, I found her silver harmonica. Well, that is a boon to us, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can return the silver harmonica to the girl in the ramparts of... I believe it's Mania. Mania. We are about to level again, guys, and this is excellent, excellent stuff here. Where does this lead? Ouch. One of those wormy worms, huh? Man, how many of these we can go through? I think this could take quite a while to figure out how to navigate through here, because, um, in all honesty... Actually, I think we are on the way out right now. We are. So we'll go bring the silver harmonica back to uh, the the girl in Minea, and uh, we'll see what else we can get from there. See what that's all about. I mean, maybe she'll bless us somehow with the perfect harmony, and we'll be able to read the books of ease. I, I don't know. I have no idea, but I aims to find out. So. We do this for two reasons. One, I'm scared to death of that horrible cave place. I'm very confused. I turned around several times in, the, in there, and um, that's the first thing. And the second thing is we need to heal. So we shall stand here and heal as we often do while we need to heal. <coughs> and moving right along. All right. So we've healed up. Don't want to go in there. Don't want to talk to you, Julius. Actually, I do want to talk to you. You just said something interesting. I haven't seen that man in the black cape lately. I'll bet you anything he's the one who killed Sarah. Bad tidings. These are things are happening, and I don't like where they're headed. I agree. But, you know, I'm new to town. Oh, gosh. Where did she go? She's gone. Ah, there she is. Ah, you found my harmonica! What's that? You say it wasn't an abandoned mine at Rastin? I see. It's just as I thought. At any rate, I extend my eternal thanks to you for its safe return. You are a most kind individual. May I acquire... May I inquire as to your name? The doll gave his name. A doll Christian, you say? What a wonderful ring that name has to it. Thank you again a thousand times for finding my harmonica, Sir Christian. Or Christ Christian? Christian? I, I don't know. Please, do me the honor of listening to my song. <laughs> yes, we heard this at the opening. Well, wasn't that lovely? Thank you so much for finding it. You are most welcome, my dear. You are most welcome. I am an expert at finding things. 
Usually things that kill me, but in this case, it was not... Not such. It was not so. I need zero exp... Oh, I max level. Oh. Well, that is scary, guys. That means I will no longer get a gigantic boon to my ability to fight any longer. So what I think we'll do at this point is we'll run out, we'll go find one of those giant trees. Which I believe there's one to the west, um, somewhere. And I think we have to head north first. Um, we'll see if something's changed, because I have one of the seeds, first and foremost. And secondly, when she played the harmonica... When she played the harmonica, it showed us a, the ro rota, rota tree? I don't, I don't know what it's called. Whatever it's called, the giant tree. So, we are going to go giant tree hunting. Uh, okay, this, this is okay. This isn't bad. Giant tree hunting. Giant tree. Where be thee? And we continue to move north. And somewhere, somehow, there we go. Alright, we'll watch the video and see if anything different happens this time. It did not. So, we'll take a look at our uh, items here. The seed of an ancient tree with a flavor said to rival all else. Yes, yes, yes. It all peeled away the hard shell of the seed and ate the pulpy meat inside. The taste was sweet but mellow. He ins the instant he swallowed, a doll felt a strange shudder run down his back. Uh huh. I don't know what these things mean. Oh! I now speak tree! You understand our words. My name is Rhoda. I am one of the twin trees born of the goddesses in the time of ease. My leaves have felt the joyous timber. That melody can awaken even the forest itself. It brings back so many memories. O oh, swordsman. Travel ye to me, brother. He's a pirate now. Uh, for at his feet lies a silver blade. What? I shall indeed travel to your brother. Get me a freaking amazing sword. Heck yeah, let's do this. I am excited. I now speak the language of trees, guys. If you weren't excited before, you have to be now. There is no way you cannot contain your excitement any longer. No way you cannot. You can't. I, I don't know. Either way, you should be excited. I'm excited. <laughs> so excited, I'm getting all choked up and emotional here. Yes, we are going to move right along, slaughtering all in our wake, and we are going to find gigantic tree number two, which is somewhere in this general area. I've been to it, I've seen it, I've watched the silly video that really did nothing for me, and made me very confused as to why they ever put it into the game, but now it all makes sense, and finding out things, and having them make sense, makes me a happy bumpy. And... Being a happy bumpy beats being a grumpy bumpy. My wife can attest to this. So, moving right along, killing things, and trolloping, trolloping, frolicking, trouncing, tra I don't know. We're heading to the second giant tree, and here we shall speak with the tree again, because that's what we do now that we can speak the tree language. Ah, says the giant tree. Darkness again stirs in the world. It brings another nightmare to ease. O oh, swordsman, thy journey begins now. The silver light beckons both hope and destruction. Also free peanuts. Lose not thy way, lose not thy will. Leave thy heart open to the possibilities. Well. That's pretty cool. Silver light began to spill out from the roots of the great tree. The silver sword has been bestowed. See, I didn't even discover it. It was bestowed upon me. 
Now tell me that's not cool. Alright, so we are going to be like, what? I got this crappy sword that you gave me, dude? I don't want this junk. Give me that one. Give me a real sword. Looks like there's only one weapon and armor set stronger than what we got right now. So we are tier 4 all the way, baby. Except maybe rings, but I think rings are situational. So yeah, we are decked out in our tier 4 gear and we are excited and happy. We are going to save in two places. And we're going to leave right here in front of the giant tree. This is going to end our next, or well, or not our next, but our current episode. And apparently we have a dog that seems to want to come eat our soul. But apparently he's not going to actually do that. So this will end our, our episode of Ease Chronicles, Ease 1. This is Bumpy McSquiggums. This is my Let's Play. And thank you guys for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I will catch you in the next episode.